Lovers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I have for you finally my tarot collection so far, okay? Because I'm always adding new tarot decks to my collection. I love them, I love different uh, art styles and I feel like different decks read for different things as well. So this is what I have so far and uh, I know that nothing is coming to me at least right now in the next couple of weeks because I do have many on my wish list already and things that are being uh, ready for the future, you know, things that are coming out uh, later this year. So I have them and I definitely will have more and I'm trying to make sure I add the flip throughs of all of them. I think I have at least have shown them at, at some point in my channel and I'm just going to go hopefully quickly through this. Okay, let's see how it goes. And I'm just going to show you what I have so far. And this is what I have. And I know I don't have anything coming to me anytime soon. Like right now for tarot. I do have Oracle cards coming to me. So I'm going to wait for that. And then I will record as well the Oracle collection. Which is way bigger than the tarot. Okay. I love both. But I have many Oracle cards. Because Oracles have different uh, kind of vibe that uh, I feel like it depends the you can have animal ones, you can have more for love related or, you know, healing. There are so many different styles and uh, you can't always read with all of them, you know, so it's different depending on what is your question, what you're trying to read, okay, or if you're reading for someone else. I have some basic ones here. Most of them, I feel they are all right away the style because that's what I really love. I have learned with and I connected first, so I have that. I don't really go much to peep decks that don't have pictures i love artworks and i love the to see pictures to see you know animals people i love to see something there on the decks and i connect with many different ones and i have some that i specific for different times of the year as well that i like to use so you will see here guys i'll see how quickly i go through these okay i'm not gonna obviously show the every single card but i'm gonna show you just quickly the art style the box that i came they came through with and uh, see if you like any of them all of my decks are always linked in my description all the information if you like them for yourself okay all the links are there most of them i think with uh, maybe a couple of exceptions they are all mass market so you'll find them and they are not uh, very expensive okay i'll show you that for you here so starting straight away guys i try to organize kind of in the order that i got them but it's not really here so but definitely those ones are the ones that i have longer and then the ones here they are my newer kind of newish decks not that they came out new like uh, this year or anything those three here definitely are from last year so they're kind of new but those ones they are not as new and you'll find them they still all of them are still available and uh, like i said those ones they're ones i got first this is my first first deck okay this is the classic tarot i don't have the box it, come, it came in a big box this deck comes in many different uh, boxes okay this is like a classic one and um, with barbara moore if i understand very well and the beautiful pictures okay i didn't have the right weight uh, the original style first but this is right away like all of them right away following but i didn't have the original one my first one was this one which i i had another one which was a peep deck at some point but i couldn't read very well with that that was older than this but i don't have it anymore my like my, my first deck that i connected that says this one because the other one was a peep deck i couldn't connect and yeah i couldn't really read with that not because i was learning still i probably could today but still i i don't have that anymore but this is very colorful beautiful borderless so this was perfect for my first deck that i really connected with like tarot deck and i'm really happy i did edge in blue here you could do with a second coat here but i was too lazy to do it again and i was happy out so this is what i did and i'm really happy because it's borderless i like the backs colorful this deck I read a lot with this deck, okay? It has really been my baby. I, I took it everywhere. I was reading for other people. Those are, These are the first decks that I was reading for other people because I was reading for myself and learning first. And I'm really happy that it's colorful. It's very straightforward. Always was always good to me. And it really helped me to learn. So I would never get rid of this one because it's like my baby that helped me so, so much. 
and this other one here so i don't have the box for that one so i don't have the box for this one this is the arcano comes with this box that open here on the, on the top you can see here how it's going away because i have it for a while as well it was the other one the second one that i got and i'm really really happy with this love the packs and again another colorful borderless one okay so this one here has really been good to me and has been giving so many straightforward readings okay to other people i have read for many many other people yeah all mixed here upside down and all so but this deck it's really beautiful colorful and i love the the uh suit ones and the like the kings the queens they are just beautiful all the the court cards are lovely and yeah, the page ones and they go they change the color as well according to you know you can see here the ones are more on the red side you know is blue for for the cups you can see a beautiful knight of cups and this more you know it changes it changes so again borderless so i really started loving the borderless straight away because those were the first two that i got again colorful but these have more uh, more realistic people and it really was good to read to other people many people i have read with this card for me for other people a lot i use it a lot in my channel in the beginning as well of my videos you can see here the beautiful beautiful colors i love the cups all this the, the suits are beautiful the cups are really really beautiful in this deck and i have edged here in kind of orange trying to get something here like earth color still is not a great job and i'm always too lazy to do it again and i always think that i will do but it doesn't happen and this one here is the one i have here the box the golden universal tarot and this is the shiny one okay i really love this deck it's not borderless but it's it's not a border that uh, bothers me because the, the backs have this little bit it's not too big i like the backs and i edged it in black and this one here it was my the first deck that i ever edged the, those ones here i had them already but i never edged them i did later and this here i edged and it was with the funny enough with the silly scent um you know silly scent marker from my daughter's collection i didn't realize it was a silly scent and then all of them to this day they smell like marshmallow okay this is it it was silly scent markers and you can see these the ones that have the gold so this is right away uh following the right away really more closely but it's beautiful with the gold okay so this, this here i'm gonna definitely read this month for um i'm planning a uh, reading with for uh, St. Patrick's, you know, some kind of career, uh, no money, anything coming to you. So the gold one here will make sense. I don't know why my cards are all messy like this because I don't read the <laughs> reversals. So I don't know. But the, the gold here, you can see, guys, I'm putting on the light here. Sorry if you, don't, if you don't like that. I'm just showing here how shiny they are. I, I really fell in love with this gold. Okay, the, you can see here the pentacles are beautiful. There are no titles at all. Okay, not on the minor or major. Arcana, you needed to know your your cards but still they follow right away so if you know the right away you will recognize all of them even without any titles my major or minor they don't have any titles which still like i said is very clear the images it's colorful enough and it takes an, an, a fun spin on the right away i feel because it's the exact same or very very similar at least like the the images to the original but with the gold here takes to another level it's really beautiful i'll find another yes another pentacle here with this love that i know it's a lot of shine but it's really beautiful it gives very straightforward readings for me as well with this deck really really happy about it and then we move to another one that has been really been good to me this deck okay and this is the crystal vision i don't see many people using this deck but i really like and this pink purple colors i really love them and um this again guys they are following right away okay but again colorful but they have more on the purple uh pinkish colors and i really like that okay and this one has been really good to read for love readings for some reason has been really straightforward for love readings for many people 
I don't know if it's like the colors pull some kind of thing like that because it has been really, really good. And I really like the art style. I really like it. It's a mix a bit. It has these borders, but I, it doesn't, they don't bother me. Could be without them, but I wouldn't trim them or anything because because I really always wanted to do things, but like trimming and and edging, and I I have many plans and things don't really happen all the time because I'm too lazy and I and I don't have the right things, the right tools, not yet at least. I'll hope that I'll have at some point to cut them and edge, but I really like the colors, the images, lots of pinks and purples. Okay, you can see here, loads of pinks and purples. And it changed here the colors with the, the suits and the major minor can it changed a little bit but in general there's a lot of pinks and purples in this in this deck okay like similar to the back here i really like this one okay happy happy out with the i got some very good love readings with this one the next one is the only one that i have that is really right away like uh old old style okay which is the universal weight and um i I, I I chose this one and uh, I'm really happy with the quality of these cards, okay? They do have borders and all, this is the old style, but I feel like I, I needed one, at least for the original one. And I'm so happy that I got them because I love, I love the colors of this one. I was looking many clip throughs to make sure I was going to choose one that has good colors. Extra cards here. Again, my cards are facing different ways and I don't know why because I really don't read the reversals. I'm mixing them up for sure. But um, you can see here, the colors of this one is very beautiful. Some of this depend, of course, of your style, but some of the right away, the original ones, they have different colors. Some of them are more dark or washed out or old style. And I really was looking for a colorful one. And uh, this is a good one that I was happy because I like the backs as well. I find the backs are beautiful, even though I could do without the borders, but they don't bother me because it's, it's very white. I I could uh, do some edging at some point, but I'm happy out with this. So the colors are beautiful. Again, only the in this case, only the my, the major can have the titles. The other ones don't have, which is similar to the original ones, you know. Again, I don't know what I have been doing with this, but um, yeah, I wanted one that was traditional, and this was the one that I chose because I wanted the colorful one, and I'm really happy with this one. Really happy with this. So this is the universal weight. Okay. And the next one, it's most likely because it was Halloween time and I started to buy Halloween Oracle decks, tarot decks, and I found this ghost one because I was looking for something dark, okay? And this is the ghost tarot. And when I saw this one, I was really intrigued and I really, really wanted this one. And uh, I have not used enough. Obviously, I did use it during Halloween time, winter time, last last year. You may have seen, but you can see here that all the cards have that uh, that ghostly style. You know, you can see here like the the lovers. They are ghosts. You can see here. I find this very interesting. Okay, and uh, there's some or the major the the main person is a ghost or again upside down uh or the there's a ghost you can see here someone else is a ghost on the on the card which i find it really interesting and it got some very interesting readings with these i had i had um um day of the dead reading with this one sending messages of loved ones that have passed away with this deck it's still in my channel guys have a look that was some very interesting reading that i got with that this deck okay and i'm really happy i have this one and um yeah you can see here like like the six of swords the one that is going with the boat is a ghost so it's always someone you can see here the one that offering the cup for the four of cups is the ghost so it's very interesting you can really have a different spin on the reading with this being the ghost there you know like is it uh, someone that does coming to hunt you coming to help you Okay, it's very, very interesting. I love this, this deck. It is very, uh, has a different energy. Definitely a, a different energy. No titles on the major or minor, okay? Again, this is not expensive. This is um, one of the Los Carbello ones. So not expensive. Okay, you can see here, guys, 
how interesting here for this eight of pentacles okay the hard work here wow this is this is this has a different kind of uh, feel on this deck okay that's why i like different decks because i feel like different decks like this can can give different kind of readings other things that you may be able to pull out of these decks okay and continue with it like halloween that kind of vibe i do have the halloween tarot which you may have seen in my channel i used a lot last halloween and i that is an this is a very poor attempt of edging this which again i didn't bother to show again and come back again to fix it and this is very colorful they have changed all the suits into something that is halloweeny you can see here the bats for the ones the imps for the no the imps for the ones the bats for the swords and what else the very colorful ghosts for cups and it was pumpkins i don't see here but it's pumpkins for pentacles yeah pumpkins for pentacles the colors are amazing you will see all of these characters that we we know and love around the halloween time or you can see the backs here fun this is a fun deck but it's funny enough it's fun like this and it's it is colorful enough but you also have lovely readings deep readings with this it surprised me of how well you can get some deep readings out of this deck which i didn't really expect i thought it was going to be all fun and then the and it wasn't really so but also some fun ones for sure but i was hoping that would be more light than it than it is so the readings didn't bring only fun readings at all okay so it was very good and surprising colorful very colorful i thought i think that the characters that they chose for like high priestess major arcana and even the ones that they chose for the the suits everything it's very well thought i think with this deck this is a deck that i really recommend if you like halloween if you want this kind of different decks for different times of the year i would read this in other times of the year for sure but definitely i'm saving for halloween most of the time a fun one for sure and the next one guys just let me know if you recognize any of these decks just by the the back okay in case you have them in case you don't have them let me know this next one is the green witch tarot okay many people like this one or have them in the collection this deck i should be using more i absolutely love this deck okay again my things are all on the other side okay borderless colorful and uh, you know the guidebook and the the presentation here it's beautiful okay the guidebook everything is perfect and this is the Llewellyn one and Llewellyn has this beautiful box you know and the beautiful books everything here with uh, uh, I don't have here but the ribbon the ribbon is inside here now but you can see how nice these box are okay yeah everything with the ribbon to help you pull everything out the boxes are really nice colorful borderless and witchy it's like perfect 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 and uh, i love the colors they have changed some of the names of the majors and but nothing nothing that is harder to read or anything because again it's following the right way but it's the definitely that witchy spin very earthy as well loads of outside pictures and uh, nature but the colors are so nice i really really love this deck i got some very good readings with this deck i'm really really happy about it and you can see borderless yeah you can see here, like they change like the green man like the major have changes but the suits are still the same names just colorful beautiful and then borderless you know so can't go wrong with borderless i love the borderless ducks and yeah you can see here the crown and you can see they changed some names the book is very nice as well okay very good book so very very happy with this love the backs absolutely love the backs and i have used more and i will come back more on my channel there are different decks that i use in different times of the year this one i use any time it's just i have some you know, feelings for the decks and then i see which one 
I use depending of the time. The next one is very famous one and many, many people like and have it, which is the Everyday Witch. Okay, again, Llewellyn with these big books, beautiful. This is one of the nicest guidebooks, all colorful. You can see here, huge size of the pictures, space for you to write as well. Okay, the guidebook is lovely, lovely in this deck. Really, really happy with this one. And it is Deborah Blake, so I really like her guidebooks. And the, again, with the borderless and lovely ones. Many people have the two, you know, the Green Witch and the, the Everyday Witch. They are different styles, but of the witch vibe as well. And of course, this one has more like the Everyday Witch, so it's a bit more modern. But still, you will see some fun, very straightforward readings with this deck. This deck is a favorite of many tarot readers because it's true. The beautiful, straightforward message you get with this, colorful, border, borderless, again, so straightforward. The messages are really, really good. I don't know why many people like this one. And when I got this one, I stopped using a little bit my Green Witch, but I still, both of them have special places in my collection because I will always use both of them. They're different styles anyway. But I know why some people like are always thinking one or the other. I would I'm really happy that I have both colorful, borderless, straightforward messages, and the guidebook is just beautiful. The presentation, these big boxes, we know well has beautiful boxes and guidebooks. And uh, in case you don't know that is the case, you may have some of them if you collect as well. So every day, which the next one it's also Llewellyn and Big Box. Okay, again, we are talking this now is the Shadow Escapes and uh, this beautiful here coming out of the box as well. Beautiful guidebook. I wish it was colorful because the image here is huge and that's not the case with the deck itself is something that many many people complain about this deck because the images are so beautiful and detailed but they are not so big so we wish it was and you can see here like the size is the same okay but because it has the borders which are not huge or anything but the image you can see it's so many details the image is so beautiful it deserves to be bigger okay it's like Everybody's wishing for that second edition, that other edition that will come borderless, bigger. This deserves to be as big as, like you can see here, the good tarot, okay? Like it should be something big like this because it really, the images are so detailed and there's so much information on the, on the deck. Some people find it busy. I don't find it busy at all. I find that there are so many things for you to to read there's so many details every time I, I see this this deck these cards i find different things for me to read so there's always something new or some details like you can see you think it's part of the tree but it's part of the person then it's part of a different animal there are different creatures they say that um, many people say and this is something that i say if you if you could choose which deck to live inside the deck this would be the deck i would I would love to live inside of this deck, you know, because the beautiful creatures, different things going on. The details are so beautiful. It deserves to be bigger. I normally read this deck only for myself or something like a, a week ahead, something that is not going to be too complicated for other people. I don't read this like personally, like in face to face. I don't read for other people face to face with this deck. I have a added to my channel for a couple of readings like uh, Rick Ahead or something that is more simple but not so long big spreads with this deck because I do read this mainly for myself and uh, simple something like for me to study for me to go deeper into the tarot this is the deck that I, I would study with I find it just so beautiful and uh, just any other intuitive reading if you wanted to learn intuitively this one has so much to offer even though you will see the right away here but it's not as straightforward okay so you need to, you cannot just take this one as uh, maybe you can you know like depending how you connect with the images if it is a little bit harder for beginners i didn't 
um, get this deck straight away. I even though I couldn't, I was not uh, reading so long with the uh, with the tarot yet. I got this anyway because of the images. So I had I did connect with the deck like one by one. I love this ten of wands. I feel like it's so good the image. You see very big here on the screen, guys, because I'm putting really close. But it is a mall. I wish it was really big. So if there is any second edition of this deck, I would definitely go for it. I absolutely love the backs. There's some kind of, it's kind of silverish here. Okay, there is a little bit of a shine. It's not showing so, so much. Like the border, the borders, the color, the cards are shiny. And they slide very well. They're like beautiful. I will, I will edge them at some point. These ones, I will definitely. They deserve some kind of purple lilac edging these bags love them so this is like some beautiful beautiful cards that uh, are definitely in a safe place in my collection and the next one i know that you guys can't see everything anymore because the frame is out of frame but is the the animal wisdom if i remember very well the, the animal wisdom tarot okay it comes it's, it's, it's done brown it comes in this side opens in the side here in this box the guidebook is lovely and colorful if i remember very well and you can see here all separated with the colors as well of the suits for you to find it easily i really find that the the animal this is an animal deck right so all animals here the backs are lovely I just find it is very thin. It's shiny. I don't mind that. And but it's borderless. It's beautiful. The colors are lovely. But it's very thin. Everybody says and complain about that. It's really thin. Really thin. Okay. So but the animals that they chose, I feel like it's very connected. Like you can see Mother Earth, like the Earth Mother for the cow, the ram for Earth Father. The animals that they chose really have a, a good connection with the the specific suit or major arcana you know it does have a connection okay so i find that's a good you can see here like the the cat no of secrets here for the high priestess you can see i feel like it's very connected with the cat with that intuition so i feel like the animals the options you know the that they chose they are really good and connected i feel like the deck is really nice they changed the name of the suits for like shells for for the cups, feathers for the swords, branches for the for the wands and the shells for the pentacles. They have changed them, which I don't mind. And I feel like the animals are well chosen, like I said. Colorful, borderless. The colors are just beautiful, stunning. I have not used this much. I have used, I have a few readings in my channel already with this deck, but I have not used lately. Because I have a few new ones that I really wanted to connect and use. But I really like these backs are beautiful. Okay, very thin, but still beautiful, a beautiful deck. I know you can't see any more there on the other side. But it's finished and we are moving to this side here, okay? This here is the Spirit Song Tarot, okay? And you have seen this deck in my channel. I absolutely love this this uh, artwork okay and i like that it has a couple of um, keywords i don't mind that but this is another animal deck and uh, this is all like washed out in the uh, pastel colors i love this deck with the, the, these colors and again it's another one that is it has some information here's like a little bit busy some information like things for you to see and read but i feel like the main the main thing is the animal okay and then you will be able to see there are other things around that you can see and read the okay have more information but mainly it's focused on the animal and i feel like it's really good okay like um, awakening for example here 20 for judgment and you can see here the keywords renewal enlightenment like four of feathers sanctuary rest so the keywords are very good as well okay maybe it, it not, it's not picking up all the colors but it's really beautiful any it changes a little bit of the colors a little bit like a yellow blue green purple okay all like you can see pinks but all very very 
light and uh, delicate i feel like this is a lovely deck like very delicate really and uh, this washed out and and pastel colors are beautiful and i really like the animals are again connected to a good choice of animals and definitely good choices of keywords it's just a couple of keywords and the small in case you don't like keywords i feel like it is not intruding really it's not a big deal you can see here the magician for the crow and it's a willpower creation you can see here it's just a small it's very small the the keywords as well so i don't feel like it's a big deal in case you don't like keywords but really it's, it's, it's really good like two shells union harmony you can see how pretty like the images are really good i saw this in a walkthrough and i I didn't even see the rest of it. I just stopped and I went to purchase because when I connect with something like that straight away, I just go and I get it because it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it back on the box. I'll put it here. And just so you see, it comes with the study box and the book as well, okay? The other ones that I didn't show the books because they all came with the white books, okay? Especially those ones that uh, are Los Carbeo, all those ones come with the small white book. This here is, I think, the most expensive deck that I have and is indie, which is the Dark Mansion, okay? I do have walkthroughs of most of these. And this is a beautiful one, comes in the sturdy box. Again, it opens like this for Tarot Decker, okay? It didn't take too, too long to come to me. It's a beautiful one and this image here, it's just beautiful this is a beautiful um quality okay they say on the website is like a baby skin and it is it's really soft lovely so so soft so good that they you have to really use them a bit because they are a bit stuck together okay this is a bit hard to shuffle if you don't use a lot because they the quality is just amazing you can see here this gilding in the side which i lovely i love because it's not super shiny it's just like perfect like that uh, great okay and there are options of different options of the back here and i chose this one there are different sizes as well this is the normal size because it, even though it's normal size it's still a little bit bigger than the normal ones and uh, i don't like think that the too too big is hard to shuffle but the colors the images it has a bit of a border here but it doesn't even bother me because the images, the colors of the, this deck, like the idea behind, okay, these characters is just so beautiful. And I really like them. You can see here, like, it's like cartoonish. It's like, it's a little bit dark and fun at the same time. So you can have different kinds of readings here. You can have some fun readings, some dark readings. You can work like light shadow, okay? I really love, and I have seen this deck lately in my channel a lot because I have done many different readings with this and I will continue to do because I absolutely love this deck and uh, the quality I think is worth okay because it's a little bit more expensive but it is worthy really really love this one I love the backs everything about this deck the colors it comes beautifully the colors in the readings like on the in camera I'm not sure if you can see everything but it shows really really nice I'm not sure why my decks all turn around like this, but yeah, I will be organizing this, these cards at the end. You can see here the, the two of cups, like it's so lovely. The colors are so nice. This deck here, I'm so happy I purchased. I think it was worth every penny and uh, looking forward to other decks that they have as well. So this is the dark mansion. Again, guys, I'm going to leave the link below for... The walkthroughs of this deck okay i have a, a playlist of all my reviews and this here is the deck that i have been using a lot and you have seen a lot in my channel you know the light seers this 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 tree here came last year okay light uh, dark mansion a little bit earlier i got the second edition at the end of the year and uh, this is the light seers okay and this here there was an indie version and this here is the mass market okay and there's the shiny one you can see the mass market i did edge in green because the indie version is green and i found this green here and i thought uh, yeah it does look good with the green the back is not i feel like it's a it's not completely black because it has this green so it goes together this here if you 
watching my channel you know that i use it over and over because i love this deck the the clear is straightforward message you get with these colorful borderless it has people but they're not uh, like uh, looking like people straight away i like this kind of art style you can see here this sun is just so beautiful and bright this is like beautiful this is like sun in your face lovely the colors they say so much okay the expressions you can see here the queens are so beautiful you can see here like the way it's still rider weight but it's with a different twist okay you can see here for the eight of swords okay that you can read so much on these decks because you can see the feeling of a stuck is just a perspective you can see that's how she she sees herself on the mirror but not really how she is here outside okay just perspective you can see here that six of cups okay remembering when they were young okay this beautiful this magician is beautiful i love the magician and you can see here like working on his power lovely the ten of wands is not on on the back of the person but you can see the hard work and you can feel like they can push a little bit and get there the i can say over and over about this deck because i love it i love the colors i love that it's borderless i know it the, there was some drama there about the quality okay because it's not uh, as much as the the indie version but i didn't expect anything anyway and i'm really happy about this one colors borderless feel like you can read very very straightforward beautiful readings with the deck so many people i give an option for them to choose which deck they want me to read with and they choose this one because you know how nice they look and then many people choose this one yeah and i always get beautiful straightforward readings love that and um this here is the one that i didn't i i got is new again from last year but i got not long ago the modern witch tarot deck beautiful box here opening this way you can see here open this way and uh, this is one that i had a walk through not long ago why right away the clone but with a twist that is all female deck okay and uh, even the 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 borders the font everything is similar to the original like position everything but when you look at the background the the clothes that they are wearing you can see that modern twist okay but this deck is so colorful and beautiful i really really like and i'm getting so many good readings with this one i'm really happy with the um, how the readings are coming through with this deck okay because i was thinking it's all female i don't know but it doesn't matter it's just the energy of the card okay and they this is portrayed really beautifully and the colors here the colors come really good on the on the camera you can see very well like it's so direct i feel the the messages with this because of these beautiful colors too so i'm really happy with this Yes, it's all female. You can see here modern. You can see their clothes, their shoes, the background. But the, the essence, the message is right there. Okay, the right the weight messages are there. Like uh, the straightforward, the tarot messages are really beautiful. Really happy with this one. Really happy that I got it. And you can see here the quality is really, really, really good. Okay, this, this is shiny, but it's so good. You can see how much taller it is from the other decks okay you can see here even this one that is good you can see it's just look here it's the same amount of cards and it's so much taller than the other decks because the quality is beautiful thick thick cards here this here is the fountain tarot okay one that comes in this box here i show again there's a, a flip through in my channel not long ago okay magnetic box and then this one many people have it and uh, i didn't get it straight away again it comes with this shiny silver gilding here which i really appreciate i like that it has a bit of a border but this is very washed out uh, and uh, a very light colors as well okay and some images are darker than others like this one here these two connected here like one very dark and one very clear but the images are beautiful it is right the weight when you keep looking and you find it that right away but it's it has that different different twist okay it feels like a very light it feels like a, it's a bit like a, a peep deck but it's not really but 
I have that feel because it's so much space and you know clear clear colors and uh, like I said that these are the washed out colors okay but I like that because I feel like you can use a lot of your intuition you can go deep in this kind of deck okay so and that's the reason I wanted because it's different as well from the other ones and like I said to you I, I use different decks for different kind of readings as well so when I feel like different the, the kind of question that you're trying to get I will use different uh, decks as well so I really like it it's completely matte and the uh, paper so this light very well okay definitely very washed out colors I really like it I really like these images so you'll see more of this it's quite new in my collection this these two here are, are new and uh, but you'll see more of them okay in my, in my readings I don't have space for many of them it's all the way there if you don't see everything but this is quite a long area but I have no space for other ones this here is the good tarot okay you can see here from Colette Bar Reed and Hay House Sturdy Box. And um, again, it's not really, really new, but this one that was sent to me, okay, I had a swap with a friend of mine. Okay, love the bags, old style. I had, um, again, a flip through not long ago. This deck goes a little bit uh, out of the right away because it does change the the names and uh, it's trying to see like that good side of everything not everybody's a fan of that but i actually like because i like the artwork very much i like these pictures they're beautiful and they have changed a bit of the some names of the the major arcana they i like that the colors change on the suits okay it's more uh we can see here it's more greenish for the water so they did change the suits to the elements okay so it's water air earth and fire and the and then the change okay it's more greenish for the water more bluish cards for the air for the suits it's more on the brown green for the earth and more on the red for the fire okay so i really like that they are much bigger than other normal Okay, like standard, I'd say, you know, you can see here, much bigger, not the easiest to shuffle, but it's not the so, so thing and it's shiny, so it's easy, they slide the well enough, and uh, I like this twist, the colors are beautiful, not every single card, uh, like you don't, I don't like every single one, but I like the art style, okay, so I'm happy with this, it's different, it's a little bit of a washed out in some of them, you can see here, but you can also use your intuition a lot with this which i like it you can go deep into the colors use your intuition it's really lovely i like this so i'm happy that i got it from my friend from a swap and uh, the next one i have is this one here the angel the angel tarot okay from radley valentine again sturdy box a house and uh, this is one that was with Doreen Virtue and they took off her name is only Radley Valentine and my one is the new version with only his name okay which I'm happy out no problem with that and this comes with this beautiful gilding again those beautiful big decks okay much bigger than standard ones and this one comes with many keywords and uh, you know not everybody will like that again we'll change the colors depending on the suits okay and it's changing as well for the elements fire here for the ones you can see is red you can see the water for the cups is kind of on the bluish side here the major arcana is kind of dark blue and purple kind of purple green for the pentacles which is earth and another let me see here there's another like tone of blue i think for the swords let me see the swords yeah it's a different tone of blue okay maybe you're not taking able to see everything on camera but it's a different tone of blue 
the majors are a bit on the purple side and the, this one is more blue okay like true navy blue but yeah all the keywords okay it can help very much if you're a beginner as well you may like this one it is a lovely deck that has like some different kind of readings i feel like i can get again different readings with this one i like that the keywords can help in in some cases and but you don't need to go through that okay of course you go with your intuition but i like okay i like that i wanted one uh angel deck anyway for the because i have oracle ones i wanted the tarot one and this was the one that i like there are other ones but i really like this one the colors the, the because this is big okay the the card itself the image even though you have a space up here and many keywords up and down is still you have enough for the images okay i it could be with bigger okay and uh, but you have enough space because the images are on the busy side okay you need to look them there are loads of information but again keywords and everything that's a lot that you can take from here okay i love this colors I really like the keywords as well. I don't mind them, depending on the read that, reading that I'm doing, you know, they help. So again, one that I use for specific readings. So don't mind. Nearly the last one, guys. <laughs> this is one that is new enough to my collection as well. Beautiful creatures coming in this beautiful, huge box here. You can see here, beautiful guidebook, all colorful. I love this. Okay, I'm still going through this guidebook, it's lovely colorful and the quality it's beautiful this is the second edition okay so it's quite different from the first one in case you have the first one beautiful creatures okay it is is gilded okay they have changed a lot of the the pictures as well and i love this gilding this gilding this that i saw in my friend's uh, channel and again i paused the video to go and purchase it's one of those that i absolutely love the image it has a, um, just one or two keywords nothing major here but i love this kind of art style i have other uh, oracle decks with this okay the same artist I was really happy to see this one i did i thought it was our oracle for a while and it's actually a tarot so i'm really really happy that I was able to get this one and it got here straight away i love this gilding this is just beautiful it's matte so it's really good so it's quite different from the first edition that was shiny it changed the feel of them the, the suits had different names as well okay it wasn't ones and pentacles and all so it came back to being the original one i really like this magician you can see here in a skill a couple of keywords you see the moon concealment and you can read that or not you know use your intuition but definitely i love this mat they slide really well big size again you know let me see here compared to our original one quite big and the images are just beautiful stunning i'm so happy i have this one this is quite new and you're gonna see again i have used already in some readings but this one that you will definitely see again in my channel Okay, and one before the last is one that was already in my collection as well. I just added below here the ones that uh, were bigger, okay? All of those are bigger size from the good tarot on out to the end. They're all bigger, okay? Bigger than like standard, okay? This is the Tarot of Dreams from Chiro Marchetti. Okay, he has many lovely decks which has this a specific style here that you recognize straight away is his decks okay have some kind of dark ones and uh, again the the suits have different colors okay again the red for fire for uh, the ones and the swords okay more bluish and you can see here this deck i really wanted because it has the symbols okay it has the element symbols have it has planet symbols it has zodiac symbols it has um um hebrew letters there's just so much in this in this deck and so this is one that i really like you can see here the symbols so it's really nice very colorful it has this kind of dark border but it's not like a specific border i don't don't bother much but it could be without don't mind it, this deck has actually other extra cards because it has the palace for each of the suits so not sure if i'll find any of them here 
but uh, yeah it's interesting you can see here the palace of of swords palace of wands palace of cups palace of coins and it has another one here for the Kabbalah as well symbols so really lovely and colorful they slide really well it's a bit bigger but very easy i need to edge this at some point i need to edge all of this at some point i really like this deck and my last one is one that i really love and i still need to complete the book and this is the biggest box that i have the druid craft okay it's really beautiful the guidebook is beautiful there is a smaller version of this without this huge uh, guidebook but i actually really really wanted the guidebook you can see i'm still studying some of them the information in this guidebook is just lovely and the, i like that it goes this way and these are huge you know they are really big you know and uh, borders many many people cut these borders and edge and everything which is something that i will do at some point hopefully but uh, maybe i'll have some time to do that eventually but i don't but still it, it follows the druid side so we change a little bit of the major arcana names but you recognize them as well still following the right away i really love the earth feel and the druid history everything in the book is really good it's well written loads of information about druidry you know the the will of the ear so much and the colors are beautiful this uh, this brings some straightforward messages i needed to read this more on my channel i have not used as much because i was studying this deck so i had it right next to me on my bedside and i keep them there and then that's why i don't really have it uh, here on my where i read my my cards and i create my videos so it's not always right next to me and then i don't remember to pick it up for videos because i'm still studying so i really love the colors it's just beautiful again it changes a bit many people have uh trimmed this and edged it and it's, it's really beautiful a bit smaller it's quite big okay i have to shuffle like this way here because it's not the easiest but i love the colors and everything about this deck and the guidebook is just perfect you do have like i said the option for the smaller guidebook but i really really made sure i was getting this big one because i know that the guidebook is really beautiful i do have this is what i have i do have two extra decks here that i bought but they are in a smaller side and uh, which is the deviant moon and the which is tarot okay but they're smaller sides and and i uh, wasn't really really happy with them so i don't use them as much but obviously i love the, the witch's moon the images are beautiful it's one of that i got a long long time ago and i was using for a while it does it did give me really beautiful readings here and the, the deviant moon i think i used the only one video because i don't have a very long time and this is the borderless one and again the these images I don't feel like it's for every day it's not for every kind of reading then this is what i have here as well you know like they scare a few people that i try to read for them with this one so they didn't want them so i feel like i'll save for maybe halloween time or other times that uh, depending on the questions i'm gonna be adding uh, like asking of course you know but i like that it's borderless as well i just realized that i forgot one deck and i knew that was bound to happen because yeah i have way too many so i forgot the chakra wisdom tarot okay which i do have the oracle and the tarot for this one it comes in this sturdy box and open this way it has this book here as well which is lovely and i believe colorful okay the deck is not right here but yeah it's colorful as well so i really like it and uh, it is with the chakra colors okay this is kind of a different deck here it is with uh, the beautiful colorful box and uh, this is like uh, it's shiny and the slide very well okay it's a little bit smaller than the it's, it's wider but shorter than uh, standard one i love the beautiful colors and the, the idea behind here it's very interesting because you can see here it's according to the chakra colors and uh, the the chakras are separated they're not like specific for one one for for one element or anything like that they are really organizing organized according to the the chakra so it goes like some cards that are for example the 
the throat chakra it will be the a bit some of them will be the major arcana kind of, some will be the minor so it's not separated really according to like just all the suits are one all the suits are the other no they are all mixed here so it could be many times it's like the trees together or the forest together or and then it, it jumps to the the major arcana so it's really interesting it's colorful as you can see the borders are according to the color of the chakras it has the name here very colorful they're beautiful okay and you do need i feel like if you wanted to learn a bit more about the chakra colors you can study a bit on the book it doesn't follow exactly the right away okay maybe a little bit here and there but you will need yeah like this one yes but not every single one but you still can read that okay uh, it follows a bit of the right weight. So, but the connection with the chakra is really interesting. And uh, I feel like the guidebook is good for you to, to, if you don't know much about chakras and you want to work with them. But otherwise, you can use this as any other tarot deck, okay? Just with the colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I really, really love this one. A little bit different. The guidebook is really good, okay? To bring more information about the chakras. But um, other than that, it's the the colors are amazing and it does work really well together with the oracle which you will be seeing when i do the oracle reviews as well next week hopefully this is another one i'm adding here at the end and i'll see i'll add this edit this at the end okay so again there'll be a cut for this because i'm just editing at the end but this is what i have here for you guys you know i know you can't see everything here i will add the image at some point i don't know if the beginning or the end i will add the image that I got from, that I could catch all of them. Yeah, that's what I have. I don't have anything arriving for me that I bought, but I know I have my brother sending one for me from a different country and I'm waiting for that, but I don't know the exact time. I will leave that link below with everything that I have done so far. I hope you like these guys. Let me know if you recognize these decks from the back before I even show them. Let me know if you have them or if they are in your wish list, okay? And they're all the flip throughs going on my playlist as well. I'll leave there below and all the links if you want to have those decks for yourself. And I will reveal now after I have a look on all my oracles as well. I will probably separate a couple of them that I will be adding for swaps. If someone wants to swap with me something, okay? I'll be happy to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, this is what I have so far. Like I said, I have different ones because I feel like different questions, I use different ones. And like always, guys, thanks very much for being here. Consider subscribing, like, and share if you have not yet. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching.